Hi, it's Jeff. And Denise from MouseSteps.com. And this is episode number 95, 95. of Mouse Steps Weekly. Sponsored by Theme Park Connection in Orlando, Florida. Great place for all those Easter gifts. Fill up the Easter basket. I know. Just theme park goodies. A couple weeks away until Easter. That's right. And uh, we are going to start with... Cabana actually, Bay. that's all we're doing is uh, right. Universal's Cabana Bay Beach Resort. We uh, booked a night and we stayed there on opening opening day. And we were pleasantly surprised. We had a great time. And uh, we're going to talk all about that. But next week, we promise we'll have a full Disney show with some really, really cool surprises. Well, you never know if we might throw some... You never know, but I... I there, surprise There are in some there. very cool things for next week, yes. I promise. Here's a check-in area. And we were surprised... I was in the store, and all of a sudden I hear there's minions outside. You ran. I broke into a run, and the ladies in the gift shop <laughs> laughed at me. But it's the minions. I did. I would run, too. The, I did. I think I did run. The minions are my very favorite characters over Disney, over anything. And this is great. I mean, if you're just checking in, and you have minions kind of uh, fooling around with your bag and everything, I, the, the actual guests didn't know what to make of this. They, they were almost afraid to uh, approach. The... I would ask the minions to help me with my luggage. That's right, because no. <laughs> There is, no, is going to do that. <laughs> That's the one thing about the resort. They really need some something to help with the luggage to the rooms. How about this guy? This guy can wheel Gru it up could for help you. too. Gru has nothing else going on. <laughs> and he I, says, you know, don't tell anyone. Be very quiet about it. It was, you know, sometimes it was just a minion. Sometimes it was just Gru. And it was nice when they all were out together. Yeah. You don't see that all the time. I thought it was tremendous. A really great way. And again, look at how much fun they're having with these uh, opening day guests. Just photo bombing and, and uh, just having a good time. This shot here reminds me of a James Bond villain's lair. Is it's, that what it is? It's does? very 60s to me, 50s. 60 that's the you know that's just my thought and you can get your drink at the swizzle lounge what that's is correct. the drink that james well, that, bond that, likes oh a vodka martini I don't shaken know. and not yes. stirred i don't I, know, I don't know if they, get that? i'm sure he could he looks like a a uh, very good bartender I'm sure well they can maybe that. they could and here's the gift shop that's right that's right we're not going to go in quite yet we're just going oh, to buy uh, a gift shop yeah no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> we'll I think not. we're going to see more minions, actually, right? No, no. Now we're going in. Now we're going oh. in. <laughs> <laughs> and we even looked at this ahead of time. Uh, Cabana Bay actually has its own merchandise, a lot of it. And I thought that was very interesting. Some of it is like those yucky little wax bottles. <laughs> oh, man, I hated those. Um, but there's actually a lot of fun uh, clothing. And some of it's like Jack LaLanne shirts, which I thought was very interesting. Oh, yeah, and yeah. Galaxy Bowl and I really like resort themed merchandise. And another thing I like about this shop is they do take a discount if you have a universal annual pass, uh, you get a discount there. Right, and also at the food court, and we asked at Starbucks, but at the time they didn't know if they took any sort of a discount. Right, they think there may be one, uh, they just haven't been uh, been told. They hadn't been told, and also they do take the gift cards. And here is a look from out the window in the hallway, the very retro cars there. Again, everything looks, it's very perfectly done. That's the original script, the original Universal script going way back too. I, I don't know if you noticed that going into the I store. actually hadn't realized that but I just think like everything here down to the last detail uh, is really like what Disney might do and right. I think that they it's did sort of like job. being stuck in an episode of Mad Men right <laughs> that is a is little that bit that right? like that oh and except you know, that Mad Men never has that, minions yes, there's never minions on Mad Men you can't get away from them that's so much fun I mean I, I just love that they just kept popping up throughout the resort opening day and I like these seats also I mean they're not as comfortable as having a well their minions bat. are having trouble with the seats though they he, seem to be. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They probably have trouble with any of the seats. That's right. Well, we sat in them, and I thought it was quite comfortable. Does anybody... I wonder if anybody else that we... Uh, <laughs> it, listening here likes the Minions as much. The, now, I like the paneling. It almost reminded me of Connect 4 to the left-hand side. And... We're seeing here the Wiki Watchy Mermaids. Right, it's a tribute. Well, actually, you know, there's the Starbucks Mermaid, and this is all mm -hmm. a tribute to the Wiki Wacky Mermaids. W Wiki Watchy. Wiki Watchy. Shows it, you what I know. <laughs> I've yet to ever go to Wiki Watchy. Have I you? Uh, I have been there one time, but it's probably been like 30 years. Well, anyway, so this is time. really cool. And they do have that retro look. Again, the, the girls look like they could be, you know, back in the 50s and 60s. Yeah, I think, again, everything. They, now, Starbucks here also is the first one in Orlando to have. It's called La Boulange, mm -hmm. which is a... Sounds uh, French. Yeah, and but it's from like San Francisco. 
uh, like some pastries and different items from uh, this bakery in San Francisco. Even the Starbucks logo is retro mm-hmm. looking. Everything. I think I just I'm amazed at how well they did. Very well themed. I mean, you again. I shouldn't say it, but it's it's like Disney theme and quality, mm-hmm. or if if not more. More so in some ways. Right, at least as much. And this is a Bayliner Diner, which is not really a diner. It's a, a food court. It's a food court. Yeah, we we had two meals there, but I think we both both meals were from the grill here, the sizzling right, grill. Right, I had a, a hamburger. And, I mean, it was good. It was not... I would like to see even better quality here. And I'd like a little bit more comfort food, which I think like when I was a kid going to Howard Johnson, like turkey dinner would be great. And we just saw the taste of the world. And here is pizza. And we had a friend try the pizza and he did not think the pizza was uh, was all that. He recommended we go to the new pizza place at uh, City so, Walk, we which did, we did, which and was it was fantastic. fantastic. Yeah, and there's a deli right there and a grab-and-go right there. And this is uh, one of the parts of the resort that does sort of remind me of uh, Disney's Art of Animation, their food court. When you pay here, you uh, you can get your cup, which if you, you choose how many days you want it to uh, to be active. And, and we uh, did two days for like eleven ninety nine. Right, right. And also you get your silverware right there, when you pay. Real silverware. Real, real silverware. This is the deal with their Sonic fill. So eight ninety nine a day. We did eleven ninety nine for two. The difference here, though, between uh, Walt Disney World and this resort is with the mug, you also get the, what is it called? The freestyle. Coke Freestyle. Coke Freestyle. That was right. And, you know, it's really nice to be able to do unlimited freestyle for two days for eleven ninety nine with that mug. The mug is a nice collectible. And there's the mug right there. And I actually don't drink much soda, but I really like peach Sprite. So it was nice just having a little of that. And I had the chicken sandwich there and it was also okay. It wasn't great. It was okay. The fries were good. I um, like the fries. Yeah. I mean, it's just, it's it's nothing great. Right. You know, and it's I, just they okay. Could change, they could upgrade some of the food. Again, I would like to see turkey because that's something like I when I was a kid would be at all the diners. And this or is meat supposed loaf. to be... Or meat, yeah. I, I mean, didn't comfort see foods. I know they had Swedish meatballs. Does right, that I count didn't try that. Comfort? We probably I should've... never. I didn't have that as a kid. I wanted. Turkey. This reminds me of the sci-fi uh, at Disney, the drive-in. Oh, here we go. I'm going to demonstrate the freestyle. So it's they... exactly except for this well, is not the same, but the other were the I, same. I had a Mr. Pib previously, and I was going to get my refill. And look at this. It remembered before I had a chance to choose. It, it on its own. It went right, <laughs> like I didn't even have to pick it. It already knew. It probably knew from like your head, like your brain. <laughs> I don't know. That's the I last know, drink I, I had. <laughs> I thought that was uh, very impressive there. And they have all kinds of like commercials and such that you can watch that all some style of the same clips that I've seen at the Sci Fi. Okay, exactly well, I, the same clips. I have only eaten at the Sci Fi once or twice, like in my whole life. So. Well, a lot of the interstitials, the you know the the marching hot dogs and things like that. Exactly. Oh, okay. Those, those are very famous I miss the from, marching, the, from the fifties. I miss the marching hot dogs. And this is sort of a uh, an area where the kids can play or wait to eat, or I'm not really sure what we don't. It's just like a seating area, but it reminds me of a little kids a kids area. There's the retro phone the phone stations. Not like anyone really makes phone calls anymore. Not you know what? Every now and then I'll see like kids from tour groups. You using the pay phones uh, at Walt Disney World. So now we're going up. This is a staircase here. We're going up to the second floor and we're going to investigate the Galaxy Bowl. And I don't know of any other resort that has a bowling alley. I'm sure there must be some somewhere. Uh, (laughs) I don't know either. I don't know. (laughs) And I wrote up an article about all the differences, not all of them, but between Disney's Art of Animation, which has been the resort that has been uh, compared to... Because of the family suites. Right, but it's totally different. Like, this would be a deluxe offering. You know, there's... This well, is... there's three different levels in one. Right. If you think about it, because they don't have the the luggage service, so that would be a... No, but D- Disney's values ha- have luggage service, and I that's see. something that they don't have here. Yet, they're going to have a Lazy River, which is a completely deluxe experience, and so is this and the uh, physical fitness center. So. And, the, and the bowling alley is beautiful. I mean, you could see here, it's, it's I mean, amazingly themed. You would actually think, it, it, you know, f- for throwing out the digital displays mm-hmm. and everything, you would think this is something from the 50s. Well, we went, we were actually going to bowl um, that one evening, but we ended up working in the room. Right. But uh, it really looked, it looked fun. And this is uh, regulation lanes. Those, those people there that you just saw, they had their picture taken. They were the very first customers, the first oh. bowlers. I well, saw that's nice. On, uh, we could have done that. That's right. If we no, had been a little earlier. I, I'm okay. 
You know, I don't want anybody taking my picture bowling. <laughs> well, no, you weren't bowling. You just hold it up, the, 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 oh, okay. a, a sign that said number one. I thought that was very nice of uh, Universal to do or Cabana Bay. They, every time somebody did something, they had a picture of the family who bought the first uh, dinner. Oh, the, I didn't know that. Yeah, everything for the first people in the pool, the first person on the slide. So we yeah. missed all of that. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, we ended up not bowling because we were paying our own way and we decided not to spend. It would have been 40 for an hour for just the two right. of us. It was, so it was it, like... Be, if we Maybe only if we time. had more uh, people with us, it could have been a, a little. You know, the more people you have, and you split it, the better deal. Right. Uh, well, you get an hour and a half for four people. And here is an area you can order food also, but it seems to be the same food from downstairs. At least some of it. So, well, pretty much everything that was on the menu was also on the downstairs I menu. Compare, I, I compared everything. that. So I, I had a feeling they were just going to walk it up, and that made me think, Well, let's, the panda let's, uh, said it, and it's panda. like, oh, okay. I blame, I blame the big, fat panda. <laughs> so if but it's I wrong, it's I actually fault. I actually don't know if it's all the same, but some of it definitely and is. here's the bar. Nice. Uh, oh. my, I did patronize the bar, and I had one of their seasonal salmon. And items. this is very interesting, is that each of the bars has different drinks. Like here, I believe they had Pabst Blue Ribbon. Right, right. Paps, that's class. But right in the there. lobby, they don't have that even the rug is themed everything is again I, I attention to detail for me it's always very important and uh i think they succeeded very well i think when they open this uh fully uh with the lazy river we'll probably try the bowling and there's your bowling deal if you want to take a look just uh, pause it you can see all the prices right there and there's the cosmic bowling i like all the you different did a colors. fine job uh, telling me how to how to frame that I thing. did. I, I was like, you <laughs> oh, should you're just... so modest too. I did, of course. And there's Game O Rama. So we're going to take a look at the Game O Rama. This is a very Batman. interesting the way they do this Game O Rama. It's sort of a almost like a miniature version of uh, what's that place? Dave uh, and Buster. Dave and Buster. I mean, it's not very, Dave and Buster. Very miniature. But it, it's it's on points, and you can redeem it for gifts, and uh, you know you buy the card that's refillable. So the more you play, the more you can win. So I mean, again, it's a very uh, small scale version mm -hmm. of that but it's a it's a nice arcade it's, it's better nice for than kids the... it's a good size right right i think like the bowling alley is probably a little smaller like once all the rooms are open you know on a rainy day i think they're going to be very busy that's right i mean you have 400 i think it's 400 of the family suites plus i don't know how many of oh the... it's more i believe it's is it 900 900 it's a lot this a is so it's big. Gonna, well, I'm just saying right now. The, 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 oh, I don't know what's open right now. But, but the, the end result is lots of rooms. So, But I think during the day, people go to the parks. I don't think you're going to see a lot of people hanging I've, around doing Unless bowling. it's raining, but at night, I think it's going to be very, you know, it's it's really something different and, and a lot of fun. Well, if uh, if it's that successful, perhaps they They'll will add another 10 lanes. Now, this is huge. So Jack LaLanne Fitness, uh, Physical Fitness Studio is massive like this is one of the biggest and best fitness centers i've seen in any resort deluxe or any otherwise it really reminds me more of a museum to jack Lalane. and i don't know if you know this but they actually consulted with the his wife, uh, his, his uh, widow and uh, she you know she approved all this so i think it's you know again they they went right to the source and they did it right well i'm not sure if like they sponsored it as well because again it, it it's huge, and it it really is like they'll probably never need a biggest a bigger fitness center than this. And you know, this is one thing that I would probably not really use. And and it's funny, I put a picture of this up on our Facebook, and and the response was, you know, a great a great physical <laughs> fitness place. That's one thing I never use on a vacation. And I like here. It's sort of like being on a cruise when they have. Uh, the treadmills looking over the oh, water. Oh, looking out the window. It, and is, it is, is a very nice view. And I was told there might be more equipment coming in at some point because there's uh, still so much floor space left. Right, right. A, I mean, let's, a manager I, told me that. We went by. I went by the next day. Matter of fact, at no point did I see anybody using any of this stuff. They, you know, they will like first thing in the morning, but a lot of guests are going to the See, parks. we should be more like Jack. Jack's there getting exercise. <laughs> He's in good shape. I, tell I remember him every day when I, you know, when I, I was growing up, you turn on the TV and there's Jack Lane. Do you know if there's an attendant ever or do you just self-serve here? Oh, there's somebody using it. You told me there's nobody using it. There's somebody using they it right there. They were just there. sitting there chatting. I, I didn't see an, I don't think that's true. I didn't see an <laughs> attendant anywhere. And that would be a great spot for classes. And this surprised me. They have locker rooms as well with lockers and showers. Right. And there is no showers down by the pool. And they also have uh, have the towels and everything you need, which which I think is very There's nice. towels everywhere, like by the pool. Again, that's, you know, not a value type resort uh, amenity. amenity. 
And uh, again, they have uh, showers here. No, there was no shampoo or anything like that. Like, you just bring probably your bring your own from the room. But very again, nice. that was a, a very nice, very, very uh, well done at Walt physical Dis fitness center. Right. At Walt Disney World, the moderates, only one Disney's Coronado Springs has any sort of fitness center. Right. So let's move over to the pool. Spectacular pool. Mm -hmm. and Here's a sandy beach. Right, There's and pool table All there. kinds of stuff to do for a sp for families. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I would have played there myself. You and I, you know, it'd be fun to if play If we had time. We were pong. working the whole, almost the whole time. Right. Right. But, but I did get a chance to go in the pool a few times. I went down the slide, and uh, we'll get into that soon. But the water, it's actually heated. I asked about this. It's not heated by the sun. It is truly heated water. So at, uh, in the winter time, uh, it'll be nice and warm. Did they say what it's heated to? They did not. And these are cabanas that you can rent. We were told $100 or $50 off season. I don't know. That's what a manager told us. That's right. Now, uh, what, what we'll go you, with the hundred. What you get, you get a refrigerator with, I believe he said four, four waters. waters. Mm -hmm. You have your TV there and uh, place you, to your sit. reserved area and, uh, of course, the uh, lounge chairs. So, I mean, I, mean I don't know. If you're a family all day and you don't want to be among like a billion other people, it could be. It's actually a, a pretty reasonable rate. Other hotels charge hundreds of dollars. What I have to say now doing our little comparison to Disney is I like the cozy cone cabanas that are free, first come, first serve. That is uh, something I, I prefer. Oh, over at Disney's Art of Animation right. and the cozy cone pool. Uh, no, you don't get waters or a refrigerator or a TV or anything, but it is a very, very nice little amenity. Uh, now, for for me, I like this pool better than the Art of Animation pools. I find this is more fun. Well, Again, you... they're going to have a lazy river. I know that. I enjoyed the slide very much. I like that they have all the squirting things for the kids. The actual sand, that's a sand, that's fully beach there, sand. Mm -hmm. So you can sit in the chair, put your feet in the sand. I like that aspect. And the water is deeper. The pool is deeper than art of any of the Art of Animation pools, and I like that. So, And this is fun. You can squirt unsuspecting guests. I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> that's not my thing. Well, I watched it happen, actually. This, by the way, we did this very early before we don't like to take pic video or pictures when there's of people, too many people in their bathing got, suits and everything right so it got uh, busier later but we were among... we kind of snuck in super early for this part and there's you walking by oh yeah there's me but i never uh, did make it up there to take pictures though and this is the slide and again when we're going uh when i mentioned that value moderate deluxe if you're at walt disney world you have to have a moderate resort at least at to least. have a slide and this is probably more of a deluxe style slide. right there's no slide at uh, art of animation so again, it's, it's, you know, there's many trade-offs. And here we go. I'm going for a What's ride a down the slide. Well, I'll tell you about that once we finish. <laughs> the trade-off is uh, in the room and some of the amenities. And here we go. Underwater. That's the part you don't like because it's a little deeper. I don't, I don't like underwater. And then when you come up, you have a waterfall on you. So you may not like that. I like it. I love it. It was a hot day. It was great for me. But I know how you are. You don't like your head this is under. And this is great for families. Um, these Kids loved it. Yes. And this is uh, quite a bit less expensive than Disney's Art of Animation, but the rooms are a little small, smaller. There's only one bathroom. Right. So well, that's what I meant by the, the trade-offs. Trade when you get into the room itself, it's greatly themed, but I think the especially the fact that you only have the, uh, one, the bathroom. one bathroom and the square footage is... Uh, uh, about 100, at least 100 square feet smaller. 120, I believe. Right. And this is a Bay Pavilion. If... Uh, if these are not in use, it's a nice area to bring first food. First come, first yep. serve. And here, a jacuzzi. No jacuzzis at Art of Animation. Right, or any of the value resorts. There is only one small jacuzzi, though, so I'm hoping they'll add a few more to the other area uh, when they open it with the Lazy River. I would suspect there'd be at least two by the Lazy River. That, this, I is mean, not a, th this is not... This only has, like, enough room for, like, eight yeah, in it. Yeah. So <laughs> I went down uh, in the afternoon and walked by and it was packed right of you, course you, you couldn't even with a shoehorn get in that that's the one thing guests really love are the jacuzzis because especially at the end of the day or you know when you've been out walking around it's nice to just be able to kind of soak and absolutely this is great this retro bar i loved this uh, they had some beers on tap that you wouldn't expect somebody told me they were going to have schlitz Schlitz. That's old <laughs> school. I didn't even know they made that anymore. And uh, and they do have Paps Blue Ribbon, another classy beer on, uh, on tap there. And we just saw him. I think that was the first. He was the first monkey in space. Right. That's right. And there's a fire pit, which was very nice. I love the fire pit. We had a great time there. Except that this area closed at 10 p.m. super early because everybody's having a good right. time. And it's like, the okay, pool, all done. That's it. The bar and the pool 
do close at 10 o'clock. And I, I think that is one negative where, you know, at night after a long day in the park, you like to sort of sit by the pool and relax and you have to uh, vacate the area. It's closed. So and and uh, the bowling closes at 11. Food ends at 10, except right? I think and there's Starbucks pe- pizza delivery till, till midnight, no, till midnight. Right. Oh, speaking of food, though, this little area has a different food truck every day. The opening day, they had the yum yum truck. Right. We bought uh, a little Six pack of yum four, yum. four. Oh, is a four. We pack? only got four uh-huh. and we split those and they were delicious. Yes. And there was this the tamale company truck. And this is a newer truck, but I had never had a tamale before, and we split one, and it was delicious. Oh, boy, it was good. Although you brought it to me very early, like I, at 11 o'clock. My breakfast was this early. tamale. It was a spicy tamale. So, so that was but it a, was good. It was very good. And they are at, uh, they're going to be there again, uh, what's today? Like Friday. So... Every day is a different food truck during the day till around three. Back to the theming. I love this little area, this little park where you can sort of sit down, sort of like at a drive-in movie. There is a little bit of room for improvement, though, as far as the, you could sort of see the landscaping. That, yeah, the landscaping. It, they need to have paths so you can get from your room to the pool and all these uh, other Without places Without having easier. to figure out which way to go because it's... You, yeah, because... Th- so many guests were just walking through the bushes and the, uh, you know. I the, walked once through, you know, because I didn't know which way to go. And the place to go is way far out of the <laughs> way. So that's that's the problem. Oh, it's the Hogwarts Castle. And we didn't spring the extra $15 for a pool view. We were like, okay, we'll just see the road and the castle. And uh, it's it, actually really nice. The castle, the roller coaster. I thought it was a great view. The only problem is that uh, in the early morning, you can hear the cars. Really the, loud. Uh, the traffic yeah, it actually woke me up. But, uh, you know, I would. It's not as well soundproof. So bring some earplugs. Yes, I would recommend earplugs. Definitely. But once you get inside, I mean, the rooms are are beautiful, very well themed. I uh, Again, you're in Mad Men territory here. It's fantastic. <laughs> I like having the microwave and the small refrigerator. There were no towels, surprisingly, you know, no hand towels of any kind. Right. A roll of paper towels would have been good, you know, by the, the coffee in that area. Right. And uh, this is a Palau couch. It sleeps six, just like uh, Disney's Art of Animation Resort. Again, one of the few things that really are similar between the two resorts and you have a coffee maker. Are you opening? This refrigerator I like better than other ones that I've seen. It's actually very big. There's plenty of room in there. Right. Well, it also has a glass uh, divider. Right. Mm-hmm. Instead of just the wire. And I don't like the wire so much. So and I we'll thought that see, was a little nicer. We will see this pulled out uh, at the end of this segment. Oh, okay. So you'll get an idea of that. And there's plenty of drawers. Uh, there's drawers on the other side, too, on the, uh, the near side to the bed. And we're going into the bedroom area again. It's about 120 square feet but less than uh, Disney's Art of Animation Suites. You also have just one of those little tiny clocks. Uh, you I know, love that it was I, an like analog. That, analog. I know, that was clock. awesome. That was awesome. Just like what you know, I, my family had you know, right. growing up. And, and, you know, I am glad that the TV was not a big, giant tube TV. I give them... Oh, I like you know, that, too. I, I know they <laughs> wanted to be authentic, but in this case, I think having the flat screen was uh, was just fine. And there were, there were like 30 outlets in this room. Oh, my God. A ton. This, this was the best room I've ever been to in my life for outlets. There were, the, I, there were outlets everywhere. That's well, tremendous. if you want to work, you, yeah, it's If you're someone like easy. me who has tons of electronics, even for a one-night stay... This place was great. And there's a save, too. And the one thing I don't like in here is the pillows. They're like 20 by 36 or something. Well, I mean, they're, they're too thick. They're they, they, very... They wrenched my neck. Like, so. Aquatica has a hashtag, nothing taller, but I used it for the pillows here. But the bed, I tell you, the bed, the much more comfortable. comfortable than Art of Animation for me. Much Now, this was a, a handicapped accessible room, so it's a little bit bigger as far as the bathroom. Right, and right, it actually was very big, and the showers are nice. Great showers, uh, a lot of pr- good pressure. And we really like the retro. At first, I'm like, oh, VO5, that's kind of Dollar cheap store shampoo. Stuff, but it's, but it's it really was pretty, good. yeah, it was pretty good. And uh, zest, zest yes. fully clean. And I'm good with the zest. I don't care. I'm not picky on soap at all. And uh, I just really love the retro packaging. And the hair dryer right there, I like. You mm-hmm. know, everything you needed. It was it was perfect for me. And I also liked the the shampoo. I, I had the same feeling, but it was it was quite good. Yeah. So I mean, I guess I use a lot of resort shampoo and conditioner, and it's not always as good. And here is a privacy divider. So if uh, part of your party is sleeping out here on the pullout, although you'd still have to go through the door for the bathroom. Get the, and that's what was good about the uh, art of animation, where your you know the kids would have their own bathroom, and uh, and then the adults would could close the door and then have their bed in their bathroom. I'd pay so. a little more to have a second 
bathroom. Not, I mean, the two of us don't need it, but if you have a family. And here's the pullout, very easy to get out. We uh, open it up for the video. I, I thought it was nice. We didn't even try it or check. Never this. even sat on it. No. I can't tell you if it was comfortable. <laughs> no, we probably should have laid on that. Probably thing. should have. Usually we're pretty good about that, but it was just a, a full day. And here full, is a, another view looking out uh, right outside Rip our door. Ride, Rip Ride Rocket. Rocket. Right, which I've ridden and you have never ridden. You have no, I haven't. I don't know if I will. We'll have to get you on that. It's no. actually very fun. You can pick your music. It's a fun ride. I'm not ride. sure about the, the up. Now, if you follow but... these blue dots, it will take you to the parks when it's, there's a when bridge. There's a bridge that goes over the road and it's not done yet. So Right. Once that I guess you can done, walk across the road, but you shouldn't just wait until around June. So instead of walking at this point, you'd uh, really want to take these buses. And we did just to... Uh, to see how that worked out, and it was extremely convenient. It was very convenient, very nice Very buses. nice, comfortable uh, leather seats in there. It and there's, uh, very it, good. it looks like a surfboard on top. I don't know if you have yeah, that in I, the video. Yeah, I, I think so. I think we got the view, the uh, city walk view. And it. these are supposed to be like the woody cars. Right, like the woodies, yep. And uh, here's the shuttle bus pickup, and they have the Cabana Bay listed. Yes, this is at uh, coming back from uh, Universal Orlando Resort. As you can see, that, actually, that sign they have not added the Cabana Bay yet. But uh, there, there you can sort of see it's sort of on the other side of where the valet parking is. It's on the uh, on the opposite side of the bridge. Right. Once you come over on the walkways, it's to the right instead of the left, which would be the valet. So we had a great time. Let's sum everything up. What are we? What are our final words on the uh, Cabana Bay well, Beach I, Resort? I wanted to mention a few other little things. There's uh, no express pass, but you do get early admission to Wizarding World one hour before the park opens. We had fantastic team members. Everybody was extremely friendly. Oh, outstanding! Outstanding uh, team members. That's and, for sure. And prices go down uh, depending on how many nights you stay. And I think once the new Harry Potter section opens in Universal. Uh, in the Universal Park, you're going to see a lot more multi-day stays than ever before yeah, at definitely, the resorts. Yeah, definitely pays for multi-day. Even going back to the drinks, after, I think, four days, it just becomes length of stay. For the so, sodas. For the sodas. For the sodas, that's right. So that's sort of a, a bonus. Mm -hmm. So overall, I I really loved it. I would like. I would actually go back. We are going to go back. Once, we are going to go back. That's true. <laughs> Once the Lazy River opens, we'll have to book it again. Of course. We have to uh, demonstrate try out the that. Try the, try the Lazy standard, River. Standard room, too. Right. So anyway, that's our show for this week. We want to thank our sponsor, Theme Park Connection. And... Please, please check back next week. We're going to have a really special show with some really neat surprises. Yep, and I'm looking forward to it. Have a great week. Have a great week, everybody.